I'm Don Pettit. I'm on the International Space Station. We're going to look at how crew in orbit can drink beverages out of an open container, not unlike what we do on Earth. This is zero G cup, and I'm putting some tea in it. fluids from uh, our bags. We suck them out of bags with a straw. But this container uses capillary force and container shape to make the fluid rise up the side and park itself right next to the lip, where now you can casually sip your tea or coffee or whatever and drink it like you would a normal cup. Now this shows, this shows a very special uh, uh, aspect of this cup. It's got a cross-section with an acute angle to it, and the fluid uh, wicks it up the acute angle. And if that angle is less than two times the quantity, 90 minus the contact angle, Angle, then it will flow into that channel and park itself next to the top. So here I have my cup, and it's just floating there with the water in it, and it's behaving like it should with the meniscus crawling up near the lip, and now I'm able to drink it. And the more water I drink, the more water that gets conducted up this open channel and parks itself near the lip. And this is the same kind of geometry and technology that we use for controlling fuel inside our rocket fuel tanks. We have a series of veins and it keeps the rocket propellant near the suction port so that when you are in a weightless environment, you can start your rocket engine without ingesting a big gas bubble. Because if you get a gas bubble in a rocket engine, they don't like that. Once you make these cups, then you can actually enjoy a beverage in a weightless environment, much like we have beverages and enjoy them on Earth. And sucking all your fluids out of a bag gets a little old after a while, and it, and it just doesn't fit uh, the human character in terms of sharing a meal. So here we are in Node 1 with all our colleagues, uh, cosmonauts and ESA astronauts, and, and I made six of these cups, and we're sitting here having a tea break during dinner. And we're discussing all kinds of things and, and uh, behaving just like people do when they get together with their friends, with their colleagues, and, and drink beverages and, and eat a meal. And you can see we can control these cups and sip our beverages without sloshing and spilling them around. There's mine, and I'm going to see if I can't take a sip, but it doesn't work if you try to take a sip through the camera. And so uh, now with six of these cups and our crew, we can, for the first time, have a crew toast where, where uh, this was filmed, I believe, on uh, Russian Christmas or the day after Russian Christmas, and we were taking a moment to celebrate. So here we go, uh, celebrating Russian Christmas on orbit with a toast of tea. And all of this, of course, is brought about by understanding capillary forces in the absence of gravity and how you can use them to your benefit.